Hello, and welcome back to Fallen Sage. Remember when I said last episode that I was probably going to implement my, uh, plug and play health and SP bars? Well, I did that. But I also did a couple other things for the battle system. I enhanced it with my remodeled damage script. And, uh, well, other than that, actually, I don't think I did anything else. But as you can see, um, you know, it's di different colors for the, uh, things now. I want to do that. <coughs> like, the text is coming up in, like, different colors and stuff now. And it looks a lot more refined, and the health bars are there and stuff now, so. I can actually tell where my hit points and SP are at. I'll be able to see, like, when I'm running low on stuff. So that's a good thing. Octorox! Leavers! Sorry. I just, I love that commercial. I know I said it last episode, but I love that commercial, so. And yes, as you can tell, I am still sick. Because I literally am recording this like two minutes after the last. Oh, for a second there, I thought I had my cursor in the thing. And it was actually just General Kazakh's land, so. Never mind. I don't have my. I don't have to worry about the cursor. <laughs> That's, uh, my hand hitting the side of my chair. Actually. That's what that is. Well, maybe I won't need to learn. There we go. Okay. <coughs> I hate it when enemies defend like that. It's really obnoxious. There we go. Kill the keys. I knew that I'd kill the keys with both Lear and Link, so I wasn't too worried about it. So. Um, alright. There's a switch here. Cool. Once again, he did not make it so that you can actually step on the switch. So, that requires some finer coding. Finer coding. Ow. Alright, so apparently the D sound hurts. Apparently the position of your tongue when you do the code. Apparently that's uh... Rubs right up against my teeth there. Right where the sore is. So, I'm gonna try to avoid saying coding. Cause I have to say it real slow like that. In order to not feel pain. <coughs> so, but again, this is something that I really enjoy doing. That's why, I like, even though I'm sick, it's like, I really just... Uh, I've been playing Pokemon Moon all day, okay? Um... Grinding on Pokemon Moon because I've got an entirely new team that I'm gonna throw in here. Um, well, not entirely new. I'm still keeping Rake and uh, somebody else, I don't remember. But the other four Pokemon are completely different. Of course, I use an ability so that, you know, I don't have to worry about that and freaking no. He's an ability so I can kill all four of them. What happens? It freaking does nothing. Yay. <coughs> so, again, sorry for the coughing and sniffling. I mean, I'm sick. What can you do? <laughs> you know, people could be like, oh, why are you recording when you're sick? Why not just record when you're not sick? And I mean, I explained that last episode pretty well, I think. But. I mean, it's really just, I don't know when I'll have another chance to record. I'd rather have enough episodes ahead of time than not have enough episodes. So, so this is door key, which is supposedly not the right key. That's weird. I don't know how it determines which door key is the right key or not. I don't know. 
It's weird because usually in Zelda games it's like, oh yeah, you just use the key wherever you use the key. <coughs> but this one's like, nope, you have to use the door key in this specific door. He probably coded like a different key for each door. If you go into the inventory, there's probably like two door keys. I'm curious now actually, if I go into the party items, are there like two door keys? Door key, chest key, and big key. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it does determine it somehow. Maybe there's a switch variable or something. I don't know. I don't really know. Hopefully, once I get up here, I'll just be like, yep, yeah, the door needs a key. I think I got the wrong key from that. Well, let's check. Let's try the chest key. Did I not? Wait, maybe I didn't pick up the key. Hang on. I thought I picked up the key, but maybe I didn't. Let me go check. My head's foggy, so I may have, like, seen the key spawn and just been like, okay, yeah, there's the key, and then just completely missed it. In fact, if I miss it, you probably guys have probably been just yelling at me all episode. Serene, Serene, you missed the key, you missed the key. Uh, okay, well, apparently this puzzle resets if you leave the room. So that's wonderful. Debug time! And I'm, I don't feel like going through all that over again. That or I got the key. I don't think I got the key. If I just hold the control button while I'm walking, <coughs> not only does it um, disable, like, as you can see, not only does it disable, like, collision, so that, like, I don't run into anything, it also disables random encounters, so that I'm holding control, so there's that. So, yay. Yeah, I guess I just missed to pick up the key. That's fine. Found a small key. Now watch. Now it's gonna say it's chest key. Yes. <coughs> so yeah, he has a different key programmed for each door. That's hilarious. And one of them is a chest key, even though it's a door key. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so... I guess now we go back again. Okay, we go back to that spot. And try to open the door again. <laughs> I was thinking that we got a different key from that, so I was confused when we didn't. Yay! Okay. So yeah, it is just it's just two keys. Oh yeah, boss time. Well, mini boss anyway. I hate this mini boss so much. It's a murloc. When do you realize your mortals die when you come to places like this? It's the wind gecko. So I'm gonna make him dizzy. I'm gonna drop anchor in the forest. I'm going to try to stun him. Let's see if that works. See if any of that actually does anything. <laughs> we'll see. Swath of destruction. Alright, that's fine. Uh, faint attack can inflict stun. So let's try that. Um, let's go ahead and throw out a high green potion. Let's throw out a high potion, high red potion. Um, yeah, that should, do, that should do it. Oh, is he immune to stun? That would be cool. First boss. Nope, I think I stunned him. I think I stunned him with, uh, what's his name? Kazak. I haven't made him dizzy so far, so at least there's that much. He hasn't been like, oh, I'm dizzy now. Once again, I think I stunned him. <laughs> it's so sad, really. And you just see it stunned like that. It's like, come on. 
Bosses should not be stumble walkable. I think I told the story once, but I had a D&D group where they realized that they could just stun lock bo bosses using days. Like every single one of them had a one time power for days. And I could use that like every long rest. And so when they came up to a boss, they would all use those abilities. Like, one right after the other, as soon as the days wore off, somebody else stays. <coughs> I'm like, okay. Never survive the power of the winds! Ow. That actually did hurt a bit. Um, but like, I kept... They kept stunlocking the boss, I was like, screw that. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and... You know, all the... You know, all of my bosses were getting dazed, and then that's they couldn't do anything. They all back in first edition, dazed, which was what we were playing. Dazed was a killer for bosses. It was like, oh, you get one action. That's it. You can't move. You can't use a minor action. You get an action, and that's it. And I was like, okay, so you know, what am I supposed to do about that? It's like I had multi attack. So I just had the boss make a couple of attacks, but if he was surrounded and they all had flanking, he couldn't move or anything. And finally, I just got tired of it. I was like, okay. So I was looking through the D&D compendium, and you know, for monsters and stuff. And there was this monster that I found that was not too high level, actually. I had this like ability to like avoid days, and so I was like, "Oh, I'll just do that then," because you know this is an official D and D monster, and so I just gave that, gave all of my bosses that ability. Well, after like two encounters with my bosses being undazable, they got real mad at me. They're like, "Well, you're preventing us from using our abilities." I'm like. Isn't that what just about every RPG out there does? See, this guy's taking forever to die. And this is... It's at about this point that I start getting annoyed and tired of fighting this boss over and over again. <laughs> I knew that this boss was a freaking killer like this. He just stays alive and doesn't... He never makes an attack because I keep stunlocking him. So... It's like, oh, I just used Boomerang! Like, how did you not encounter this when you were testing the freaking game? You'd just be like, oh, well, that's cool. But no. Uh, but back to the story, you know, like, that was it. I was like, every RPG ever does that. You know, bosses are immune to poison. Bosses are immune to stun. Every RPG I've ever played does that. They're like, well, this is D&D, &D, not every other RPG you've ever played. I was like... Okay, and it's still an RPG, <laughs> so why can't I, you know, create a boss that's, what the heck, who does this go to? That's some kind of cookery thing. What? Hang on. Cookery hide felt. Felt made out of dried cookery hides. Hides. I cannot say that. Okay, that's weird. I don't know whose it belongs. I don't know who it belongs to either. Nobody can equip it. Whoops. Uh, that's a bug in my uh, debugger. Uh, I should fix that. Because <coughs> the debugger I actually have set up so that it lowers everybody's level and it makes them all equal to Link's level and I just realized that um, that also means that they technically take a crap ton of damage oh well it's not that big of a deal to heal up from it so I don't worry about it cause then it would be a free heal I'd just be like oh I don't need to heal cause I can just use my debugger and that would be unfair you know 
Because I could fix that using a recover all command, but again, then I just. It would be dumb. Because then I just have a free heal anytime I feel like it. So instead of having a free heal, I'll just go in and give it so that, uh, you know, I don't heal. I have to heal after using it. Sort of a, a downside to using it, if you would. So there you go. It's like, oh, do you really want to use your debugger to even out everybody's levels? Because here you go. You're going to have to stop and heal everybody up other than late because they're all going to be down to like 500 HP. So I like that, actually. I won't to uh, fix that bug. So, there's that. Um, I think the boss is coming up pretty soon, though. I definitely want to end the episode before the boss. But I'm trying to do a little bit longer episodes. I've always tried to do like, well not always, but lately I've, before I was trying to do like 15 minute episodes. And I guess now YouTube's algorithm focuses on like watch time. And so you need the watch time. You need to have people watching your episode all the way through. And, you know, you need, not only that, but you need length, you know. If it's a 20-minute episode, somebody watches it all the way through, that's 20 minutes watch time. If it's a two-minute episode, and if somebody watches all the way through, it's still only two minutes of watch time. Which I think is dumb. It, it should be based on, like, total view time. Like, total view retention. As opposed to minutes watched and that's what it is currently actually that's how YouTube system worked before it was retention time but they changed retention time to mis minutes watched it's like it worked better with retention time because then like the three minute episodes still got a lot of views because you retained the viewership through the whole thing so now it's like, it's better to record like half hour episodes and ho just hope that people are watching all half hour because you, if you're going to record 15 minutes, you know, but yet your people are going to watch more, you know, there's no point. So, I think if I record a 15 minute episode, it still counts as only 15 minutes. As if I record a half hour episode, now it counts as half an hour for one view, you know? <coughs> <coughs> oh well, what can you do? Um, but I think I will go ahead and end this episode off here. Um, I, say, I think the boss is coming up, so... Have you noticed that there hasn't been a single save point in the entire dungeon? I hate this. I hate that so much about this game. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See you later.